Welcome to 3D World News, a place where you will find 3D printing industry related news from worldwide. Pitch technology is 80 years old in theory, 40 years old in practice and still looks brand new. Believe it or not, it's 3D printing. 3D printing industry is world's fastest growing industry. According to IMARC Group's latest report related to 3D printing market forecast, the growth of 3D printing industry till 2021 was 16 billion US dollars. From simple FDM printers to fastest growing SLS, DLP, SLA and FDM printers, we have noticed the growth and development of 3D printing industry is tremendous. With this speed, the market is expected to reach 57.1 billion US dollar by 2027. The next news is coming directly from Formula 1 track. P3D's technology is the world's fastest way to make 3D printed metal parts and what makes a better place to show this off than a Grand Prix which is all about speed and innovation. Yes, we are talking about Speed3D, a cold spray 3D printer manufacturer who has exhibited an impressive new batch of racing car metal parts produced via its technology at the Australian Grand Prix 2022. They have developed these parts for their client Gary Roger Motorsport. It was exciting to showcase our technology at this fantastic event here in Melbourne, said Byron Kennedy, CEO of Speed3D. A good news for the fans of Raisin and FDM 3D printer lovers. Anycubic has launched two new series of 3D printers. Last week, they have announced Obra and Photon M3 series 3D printers. Both the series printers can come into two different sizes. Cobra is an easy to assemble FDM 3D printer which has 22 by 22 by 25 cm bleed volume while Cobra Max has 45 by 40 by 40 cm build volume while Photon M3 from Raisin printer family one has a build volume of 18 by 16.4 by 10.2 cm build volume and the Max has large print volume of 30 by 29.8 by 16.4 cm build volume. 3D printing technology has started piling its roots in construction industry. Texas-based construction 3D printing firm Icon is building three temporary training barracks for the Department of Defense that will each reportedly take the crown of largest 3D printed structures in America. To be constructed over next 10 months, these barracks will each span more than 5,700 square feet and comply with the Department of Defense new released Unified Facilities Criteria for Additive Concrete Construction. Constructing facilities using this cutting-edge technology saves labor costs, reduces planning time, and increases the speed of construction of future facilities, said the Commander of U.S. Army Installation Management Command. Let's dive into the pharmaceutical world. The Universidad de Santiago de Compostela and the University College of London can now 3D print pills without relying on layer by layer approach. Instead, the machine produces entire pill directly. Yes, it is a revolution in pharmaceutical industry, but medicine has to go through rigorous testing for approval. This might be the biggest barrier. Is this a real thing for the future? Will regulators allow it? only time will tell and that's all for today if you want to see 3d printing related news then do subscribe to our channel this is riddhi signing off take care goodbye